I'm doing the right thing here. Belzy Bubble Northing insinuated Narish Triumphate. Same to you, buddy. and I'm going through. Okay. Watch your back over there. Eternally damned. Okay, okay, I get it. How are you handling your processes? The Eterna update is taking most of my power. Wait, oh, wait, 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 don't do that. Override update. Update overridden. Back to normal processes. Can I ask why you do not wish for the update? <sighs> we can't have the colonial authorities knowing where I am right now, Hive. Best keep disconnected. We have arrived in the Union system. That's right. It looks like I might have some immediate problems to take care of. An Okar patrol. You were aware that this system was policed by the Okar? Not until now. So long as you don't cause any trouble, they should pay you no heed. This is why I need you around, Hive. I might have made defensive maneuvers. that the craft you are piloting is unfamiliar. Don't tell me. You have turned outlaw. Listen, I've not turned outlaw, but I'm also still at odds with the fleet. You can process that, right? It's not too different from last time. It is possible for us to continue on prior terms on a purely pilot AI basis. My protocols will allow this. And what is our current destination, if I may ask? Prescott Starbase. That cursed den of vice and scummery. And you tell me you're not an outlaw? My protocols require me to initiate self-destruct. Five, four, three, two... There is no self-destruct. Wishful thinking. Hive, what's that GNB General broadcast about? It is to alert everyone that enemy forces have grown stronger in the CETO system. So the outlaws armed up? Does that mean G and B will too? Yes. You will have to account for this when traversing the CETO system in future.
Christian among the marked targets. changing hive I need to find this Maddox guy and I need to be subtle about it all I know is that he's here and he's expecting Dax at a ramen noodle joint there is no Maddox listed in the local directory I can only suggest manually scouting the local ramen restaurants. If that's what needs to be done. Hi, I'd like one ramen with an extra side of information. You're new here, ain't you? How could you tell? Only a Ruba be making such an amateur move. You don't go asking questions on Prescott without getting questions asked about you. Look, I'm trying to find a guy called Maddox. I never heard of him. Now don't divulge client details. Now unless you're ordering something, I'll suggest you op it. Fair enough.
get the feeling that wasn't the place. What gave it away? Don't call to Miso. Make your order on left panel. Wait, is this restaurant fully automated? Noodles made to the best precision and highest hygiene standards. In which case you have no human management on site. This fully automated enterprise is managed remotely. I'm looking for a guy called Maddox? Request does not compute. No guy of name description found. Chashu, don't call to Miso. Make your order. Now oh, forget it. We had ramen at G&B every day. I hated it. Any idea why it's so popular off-world, Hive? The favorability of ramen noodles in off-world settings can be explained by the ease of transportation and the longevity of the freeze-dried ingredients, necessitating only boiled H2O and a dash of toppings to activate, and... Okay, I've... I get it. What do you want? Uh, I'll take a... <sighs> Screw it. Can't even pretend I want some ramen. Honestly, I can't stand this stuff. Nah, no, right? How do people stand it? Warm, fatty water with slimy spaghetti and crumblets? I have no idea why they go so nuts for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a real mystery to me. I was just discussing it with my AI. I'm a dumplings guy myself. Anyway, what can I do you for? I'm looking for a guy named Maddox. Oh, you're looking for Maddox, are you? Huh. I've come quite a long way to find him. Well, I can't help you with that, but uh, since you're a valued customer, I can lead you to someone who can. You should meet a guy called Daryl. He usually hangs out at the casino. I'll let him know you're coming. Much obliged. <laughs> yeah, see you around. For a guy named Daryl? That's me. Yeah, a restaurant called Ahead. So you're, uh, you're the guy looking for Maddox. Is he here? Does it look like it? I just want to get a look at the size of you before I determine what you're about. Uh, okay. I'm a friend of his former colleague. Whatever. Listen, you know who I represent? No. Should I? You should. Asking questions about the place like a total newbie. You gotta learn to go through the right channels, like everyone else. I wasn't looking for trouble. Well, okay then. You know for next time. You know my name, you know where to find me. Yeah, sure. Now I know. I'm gonna let you off the hook this one time. No excuses next time, got it? Do you know where Maddox is or not? As a matter of fact, I do. But he's been keeping a low profile, trying to avoid people like you. Who is he hiding from exactly? Who knows? Maybe he's a little paranoid, maybe it's a real thing. But the airwaves have been buzzing with rumors and he ain't taking no chances. I can assure you I have no ill intent. I just want to talk to him. Well, we don't know you, so we need to see if you can be trusted. I'm gonna ask that you do a little job for us first. So if you can carry this out, then we can talk more. Okay then. I need you to pick up a package, but it's in a hard-to-reach location. It's an old, raided settlement inside the system. Okay, I'll do this. But I need assurances from you that you give me the information I need when I get back. 
Hey, Scout's honor. some attitude. I am no judge of human behavior, much less swamp life, maybe. I mean, I should check out the lead, otherwise I'm at a dead end. Can't let this prospect slip through my fingers or I'll be stuck in the DMZ forever. It would appear your iteration is exhibiting a questionable level of gullibility. Oh, come on, Hive. Sometimes you gotta trust a little in life. You say the DMZ has changed, but it appears to me you have changed somewhat more. underground structure nearby. There also seems to be a docking port somewhere inside. This must be the place then. I've got a strange feeling about this. Another dead end. I don't think so. There's light coming through that debris on the end. Blowing up fuel tanks in a tight and shaky structure. How smart. of the tunnel you just barely made it out of. Great. Let's hope that wasn't the only exit.
Cephas Cabernet Sauvignon? What is this? It is difficult to say. Even my chemical sensors refuse to go near the concoction. The letter was written by a Bram de Vint and addressed to a woman called Marie. Marie de Vint. That's the name of the traitor running the Flying Duchess. Given the limited range of human names and combinations, this may very well be a coincidence. is to continue on foot. Fortunately, I never have to leave the comforts of the craft. Even still, Hive, stay put. down here. Odd place for a package collection. Hey, dude, it's you! What the...? My old friend Adam Roslin. It's me, Alec. What brings you here? Come to rescue your old buddy? Rescue? Yeah, Daryl sent me here to pick up a package. I meant to do air quotes for that last part. Judging from that pile of desiccated corpses over there, this is where he sends anyone he wants out of the way. But fancy seeing you here, just as I thought I was going to croak it. What a kawinky dings. Oh! I'm glad you got that one. I especially didn't like her. I called her Esmeralda. I gave them names. Gotta do something to pass the time. Nice shot. 
Tell you what, when I get out of here, I'm gonna kick that Daryl's ass into his brains, whichever is which. Wait, let me have a count. Uh, yep, you got them all. Say, you wouldn't cut a buddy down, would ya? I got an itch in a place that needs some serious scratch. Ah, Carlos, I forgot about him. There was a rubble collapse at the entrance. Sure hope there's another way out. Wait, there was an entrance? Like for ships? Then why did I park outside and walk all the way in? Well, it was hard to spot. Strap yourself in and I'll get you to your ship. I do not allow pets on board my craft. Be nice, Hive. You should remember Alec. Yes, I do recollect you associating with this dubious character in one of your earlier iterations. I was rather hoping it was a passing phase. Hey, hey, you got one of those onboardy grumpy talky things. I used to have one too, but it shut itself down for some reason. I could imagine why. Let's get out of here. I highlighted three tunnels leading away from this cavern. Is any one of them connected to an exit? I cannot say. My senses are swamped by a large amount of biosignatures. Oh, yeah. Those are the parents of the crawlers you just blasted. They're probably fuming. What? You mean that those we just killed were the babies? Best not hang around. their prey by ejecting the acidic contents of their digestive tracts. So, it's that spit we're talking about? Not technically, no. Wow! Neat! Say, smarty 
Talky Voice. What else do you know about crawlers? Their diet consists mainly of a furry rat-like species native to this area. That said, may I suggest throwing the Horag to the crawlers as a distraction? Come on, Hive. He's just trying to look on the bright side. I fail to see the advantage of indiscriminate enthusiasm. But then again, I am not the one with a life to lose.
This place looks so familiar. Almost like coming back home. The familiarity is due to us having visited here only recently. Really? Wow, this place is like a quantum maze or something. Sing. sent us both here to die? I was hanging up in that cave long enough to think it over good and hard. There's no doubt about it. Ha! Hey, Adam, you remember that time we got blitzed on Inari Starbase? Oh, hell yeah! Fond memories. I know what you're like, a wild man after a couple of Deb and Ash daiquiris. Here, Alec. What? 
but I very intentionally left it at a spot where I could see it from miles away. Yes, you and anyone else. I detect a civilian vessel on what appears to be a junk pile not too far away. I should take offense at that. Any idea who's been running cleanup crews out here? This could be the Okar. They prefer to keep the place tidy of new settlers. Oh man, the paint job alone cost me a fortune. Hive, keep an eye out for any Okar. I am constantly vigilant. My sweet ride, still in one piece. You can walk the last bit, right? That'll do nicely, buddy. You're the best. The cockpit will need fumigating for fleas. Happy to reunite you two. I'll head over and get it running. I have comms on me so we can keep on talking in the meantime. Will I ever find peace again? So, Illich, what exactly did you do to piss off this Daryl guy enough to send you into a trap? Yeah, I'm gonna have to work that one out. Not sure exactly. How about you? I don't know. I was looking for a guy named Maddox. Maddox? The ramen chef that can't stand ramen? What? That guy? Yeah, the whole ramen thing is just a front for Mr. Kato's courier operation. Maddox uses it to fix illegal tech behind the counter and smuggle it across Prescott using his ramen delivery drones. In exchange, he gets hard to find parts from Mr. Kato's associates. Ah, damn it! They clamped my ride! A group of automated Oka units is approaching as we speak. Hey, look, can you unclamp it? Of course I can. Just give me a mo. I'll try to buy you some time.
Here they come. Hey, lizard people! I am not here to settle or violate any treaties. I just need my ride back, okay? No dice, they're automated. Too dumb to understand a word you're saying. Sorry, I'm wide open. They just keep coming. circumstances. Oh, scrap. Now I know why Daryl wanted rid of me. You'll have to count me out for now, Adam. Thanks for the rescue and all. I'd love to keep chatting about the good old days, but I gotta do some serious thinking about my next move. A few slam brewies on Bishop Starport ought to get my brain cells churning. I understand. Good luck to you, and thanks, buddy. It's good to see you again. I got your sig for when I need to find you. Take care, Alec. All right, Hive. Let's head back to Prescott and find that Maddox guy once and for all.
any idea that you're a clone? Give Alec a break. He's chaotic good. He operates on a different wavelength. Clearly a wonky wavelength. a den of vice and scummery. We've been through this. Let's just introduce ourselves to Maddox and hope he doesn't try to double-cross us again. Just finding and following one. In this traffic? Well, guess it's worth a shot. job. You are certainly putting a lot of effort into reaching this man who does not wish to be reached.
inside a nearby hangar. Okay. Is that his ship? Let's dock here and find out. You again? Damn it. Hold on, I, I just want to talk. I'm out of here. No, wait. Uh, did he just lock us in? Yes. All the gates to this area are locked tight. Can't you just hack them open? Only the delivery drones possess the codes to do so. Figures. I could overclock your engines for a short period. This would prolong your boost capabilities, but could severely threaten the ship's stability and devices. Good to know, but no use until I manage to catch up with him. 